The Prejimo project asked the question, what would happen if a community health worker was trained not only to deliver health messages, but if they were also trained, kind of like a doctor, to identify newborns that were sick and then to encourage the family to take that baby to the health center for treatment. But then it went even one more step and it said, well, what if the family won't go? If that happened, then the community health worker would offer treatment right there in the home. Almost none of them had a background in any kind of health service delivery. Uh, many of them had, had never held a job before, but these were women who were really highly motivated to help their community. I noticed the baby had feeding problems. I touched her and realized that she was very cold. The mother followed my advice and held the baby in her arms as we spoon-fed breast milk. The baby soon began to move as her condition improved. We have demonstrated that with that simple means, you can reduce mortality by more than one third. And if we can implement the Pajama model globally, it has the potential to reduce neonatal mortality by more than a million every year. The basic principle of empowering families, of empowering village-based workers to save the lives of newborns is a principle that can be applied across the world. And the Prajanmo project certainly bore that out. The infant I saved is now a healthy three-month-old baby. Her mother invites me over all the time. I have that kind of relationship with both of them, like between souls.